So if no one, I can lead in with uh, a roll call, and then I'll turn yeah, it over to you. please. Uh, Bob Hannon. I'm here, actually. <laughs> Robert Eisner. Here. Ned Statchen. Double check your mute. I don't see him logged in. Um, David Fox. Here. Jay Tulin. I'm here. Mark Simpson. Here. Uh, Richard Berlandi. Here. And Emily Brick. So. Okay, so right now Emily and Ned are not here? Right, correct. Okay. Do we need to appoint Richard to... Oh, right, he is now. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Well, so I guess okay. we'll call the meeting to order. Um, new business number one, Town of Farmington, South Road, Culvert Replacement. Okay, just as an update, I, or not an update, but I know just to refresh everybody's uh, um, uh, thing on the plan that uh, the town is looking to replace that culvert underneath South Road, just near the Woodruff Road uh, intersection. There's been some problems with it. We've had, uh, we've looked at it. It's back pitched a little, a little bit, so we're looking to replace that pipe in place. So uh, they're looking to uh, dewater it, uh, putting a putting a pipe through the uh, uh, existing pipe and draining it. To the other side of the road, so we'll re we'll be replacing it, um, adding some new riprap and uh, end walls at the ends. But that's about it. If anyone has has any uh, questions? And Bruce, just to just to follow up on this, if I remember correctly, they said last time when they submitted the application, they can do this in one night. Correct? Yeah, they're looking. They haven't picked a night yet, but they're looking to do. It's going to be something because of the traffic of opening up that road, they're gonna to need to close it. So the last I've been told that they are looking to do it as a, as a night work and we also are waiting for the weather to uh, cooperate with us. So, you mean you want it drier? Yeah, we wanna get as dry as we can, you know, and, and also wanna, cause, cause uh, just, just, just so we can pump down the water a little bit and get a, get a better, make it a little easier to uh, open, open that up. All right, so I'll go around and ask folks if they've got any questions or comments. Rich? No, no questions. Dave? No questions. Robert? No questions. Mark? No questions. Jay? No questions. I drive to the mall a lot. I've seen where it looks like it's marked off there, but, you know, uh, looks pretty straightforward. No questions. Yeah, I don't really have any either, but I, I will also comment that I was down there and then the last couple of days, and the area looks pretty flat. So I don't anticipate them really having much trouble in trying to get the work done. Um, Ned, yes. Excuse me. Oh, this Ned's Ned, here. This Ned's here. Yeah, just okay. to know. I don't Ned, have any questions. Do you have any questions on this one? I don't have any questions on this one. Okay. Hi, Ned. Hi. Okay, I will now mark you as present. Also sorry, sorry I'm late. It's okay. Um, so... Having no questions on this, we've accepted the application. We made the determination. So, can I get a motion to uh, approve the application as it was submitted? I move to approve application IW 21, uh, 2110 with the condition that the highway department coordinate with the planning office during construction. Is Jay, there a second. second. Jay, second. Okay. So, I'll start with any discussion or comment, Rich. No, no, no Dave. comments. Well said. Robert? Nope, none. Mark? I'm fine. Ned? Good. Jay? I'm good, thank you. I'm fine as well. So those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Okay. Uh, next item, Joshua Lombardo, Prattling Pond Road with the repaving of the 775 feet of Prattling Pond Road. And, and Sandy, I think probably for the record, um, we should make reference to the June 8th, 2021 letter that came in from the Farmington Land Trust right. that they voted unanimously to approve the proposed reconstruction of Prattling Pond Road. 
Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Oh. So is Mr. Lombardo here or? I am, sorry. Go ahead. No, that's fine. We just wanted to get in the record the letter that came in from the land trust. That's all. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate that. Sorry, I had to, I had to switch rooms. Um, so I'm not sure how this works. Does anybody have any questions or should I? Well, I don't know. If, if, is there anything else that you need to share with us? I mean, because it's the last meeting we accepted the application and yep. made the determination that this was not a significant activity. So okay. I don't know if you have any more information that you needed to add. There's really no new developments. The plan is the same. Um, it's, you know, as, as far as we're concerned, it's straightforward. It's just the 775 uh, feet of repaving and those two curtain drains that will be, or catch basins that will be replaced. Um, it's, you know, everything is like with like replacement. Um, we're not, you know, we're not adding any new drainage. Uh, the paved leak offs that are existing in, in a few areas will be maintained. Um, it's just a, you know, it's it's just a regrading, just to uh, just because it's it's fallen in such disrepair over I don't know how many years, you know. Um, so yeah, not basically not nothing additional. Just okay. kind of the plan I outlined a couple weeks ago. All right, so just sort of go through order. See if any people have any additional questions. Rich, start with no you. No questions. Dave. No questions. Robert? No questions. Mark? No questions for me. Ned? Uh, the town had a note uh, about the need to consider straw wattle rather than silt fence. Is the applicant open to that? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Um, one of the town's recommendations was that instead of a silt fence, you would use a straw wattle, which is a little more effective than the silt fence. I mean, that's, yeah, that, that would be, I'd, I'd have to discuss that with the contractor. I, I don't see why not. That's the first I've actually heard of that in all my conversations with Bruce. Um, yeah. he, he, he initially recommended the, the silt fence. Um, so, yeah, I mean. If, all if, right, well, just, we'll, we'll leave it, you know, if, if the town, it was, the recommendation came from the town. So, um, yeah. I would just, you'd be open to that if, it, if it's determined that that's the best use. Yeah, sure. And I'll just, okay. you know, and I can touch base with Bruce or, um, and, and I'll clarify that with the contractor. Okay. No, that's no problem. That's all I have. Okay. Thank you. All right, Jay. No questions. Just a comment. I, I haven't driven down there. I think it's necessary work and uh, sounds like it's a good plan. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I'll just follow up with what Ned was talking about, especially when their wetlands close by. One of the things the commission has been looking at for quite a while now is using something that's more effective than silt fence and straw wattles or whatever term you want to associate with them. They tend to work a lot better. Uh, they do a much better job on filtering out some of the particles that may be suspended in water. So I think that would be a good way to go. Um, so we have an application that's been accepted. We made a determination that it's not a significant activity. I'm not hearing a whole lot in terms of comments. Everybody seems to be at ease with this. So if somebody want to make a motion on this particular project? Yeah, this is Ned. I'll make a motion to approve. I, I think this is just pretty much replacing in kind. And so I, I, I don't have any problem with it. Did you want to add a condition? Uh, with the all right, yeah, with the condition that uh, the straw wattle be considered uh, if the town recommends it okay. be used. Okay. okay. Is there a second? All right, Jay, second. Okay, I'll go through quickly. Hope, uh, Rich, any questions or comments? No, no questions or comments. Dave, Ready. Robert, done. Mark? I'm good. Ned? All set. Jay? I'm good, thank you. I'm all set as well. So have a motion on the floor to approve the application for the repaving of 775 feet on Pretling Pond Road. 
All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Well, good luck with your project. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for your time. And I guess, Bruce, this next part's going to fall on you. Uh, sort of an update on Plant 17, 1179 Farmington Avenue. No problem. I, th I think I could. I think I could bear the weight. Mm -hmm. um, okay, good. <laughs> What's that? Do you like the mouse? I'm no, to, no, no, no. Uh, just uh, we've got on the phone. We've got uh, George uh, Logan. He he's the uh, soil scientist that's been overseeing it. But uh, since since the last meeting, Shannon has been out once or twice, and I've been out as well. Uh, to date, most of they've they're actually still working on the wetland uh, creation area, working on that. The uh, the upper area of the uh, encroachment where they actually had to. Um, uh, regrade it. Most of that work is done. Uh, it's been seeded. As of as of yesterday, the plants were all uh, laid out. So they're hoping to get those installed this week. So uh, we'll we'll be meeting with them next week to hopefully uh, touch base with them on the wetland uh, creation area. We'll be getting an as built to confirm that is it's built per the plan, and then we can and then they can go ahead with the uh, um, the plantings. So uh, George is on the phone as well, so maybe we'll have him jump in and kind of hit those spots I didn't, I may have missed. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. So uh, good evening, everyone. Just quickly, I mean, the, the process has gone pretty well. I mean, the weather has thrown a couple of curves here and there. Um, Shannon and I have been out there. Shannon and Ed Pollock has been out there. Bruce has been out there. Uh, for the most part, it's myself and Sigrun Godwa who's uh, supervising the activities. As you probably heard, I'm I'm leaving Friday for a month. I won't be around, but Sigrun's going to take over. As of today, I'm told, because I was there yesterday, but I'm told that 90% of the uh, restoration area has been planted, uh, including the uh, the emergence in the wetter area. We 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 had an interesting way of doing it by putting a plank across the the wetland and be able to walk along and and plant and then pull the plank and keep going. Uh, the seeding has not been done there because it's still a little soupy um, or wet in those areas. Of the, uh, so that's uh, going to happen. Uh, that's from today. And what you see in the creation area is that um, we've gone down. We're, we're basically working from the outside in. So the first terrace has been completed. Uh, the first terrace, the second terrace is being worked out right now, as you see there. It's going to continue tomorrow. And tomorrow I'll be out there to do one last thing, which is to determine how deep our sumps need to be, make sure that we're keying into the uh, uh, the tight stuff underneath and we're not breaking through to some other layer that's going to drain the whole thing. <laughs> right now, hydrology seems to be pretty good, as you can see. Uh, so that's going to happen tomorrow. And that determination is going to be done. And then from then on, all the plants, um, and I have some pictures I can quickly show. I don't know if you have those, Bruce, from uh, from yesterday. You want to see yesterday's pictures? Yeah, the ones uh, that I sent you earlier. If you want to do uh, the uh, creation areas first. Creation areas, all right. There you go. So these are just some pictures from, we can scroll through from the creation area yesterday. You can see the slope down. Uh, that's at Pollock Shannon and um, who is that? I don't know. So, uh, oh yeah, that's Joe, the foreman. So the stakes that you see there were stakes that were set to determine the first drop down, if you will, to the end of the first uh, terrace. Additional stakes were put on yesterday for the second terrace, and then we'll work out with the uh, with the sumps tomorrow. So these are from yesterday. Uh, at the far end, if you want to scroll down a little more. Um, that gives you an idea, whoops, that gives you an idea of where the surface used to be and what has been taken down. Obviously, that's a common way of doing it. Sorry. Uh, there you go. So that's the edge of the first terrace uh, on that side. The other side has been worked already. This one is still in process. Keep going down, Bruce. Uh, this is the water that's being retained in the first terrace, uh, which is kind of what we were envisioning. You can keep going, Bruce. 
Uh, and that gives you an overall picture. Uh, the far side has not been done because on the, in the gap that you see in the sill fence, uh, we have a little coal row that goes out. And you'll see that later. And that's where we stockpiled about a third of the topsoil that we took out, which we're replacing back in here because that had appropriate propagules and good plants, which are going to pop out. Um, keep going, Bruce. I think that's, oh yeah, this is the another one. This is an area that you can't really see the flags, but uh, as you recall from the plan, there was an area here that's sort of the northeast portion of the wetland mitigation area. We had a lot of invasives. That has been tagged out and that's going to be one of the last things we do. Basically what's going to happen there is about a foot to a foot and a half of soil is going to be removed. All the invasives are going to go to the invasive pile, which is covered with plastic. And we're going to replace it with the good topsoil that we've um, salvaged from this area. In essence, that's going to turn into a wetland, most likely. So that will be a little bit of an additional wetland. But because we have lost a few square feet of wetland, because when we went out there and tagged it out, we saw that a couple of areas, we had a, maybe 100 square feet here and 100 square feet there of wetlands that had developed little pockets that we didn't want to disturb. And those are going to be kind of part of the overall a wetland system. You want to go to the restoration area photos, Bruce? Uh, so this is again from yesterday. You can see so the plants uh, have been set out. We still have water. I'm sure there's less water here today. Uh, we basically, you remember the eight and one, eight to one slope? That has been seeded and planted. Uh, obviously, the hydro seeding has had can taken place in the upland area, the upland review area. Um, so the, the the first slope that you see there, which is a lot bigger as you go in the far east or western portion, that's the A21, and that was seeded early with both uh, some annual ryegrass, which is probably what you're seeing popping there, and the wildlife. Uh, uh, conservation restoration mix that's going to probably pop by the by the fall and then most of it's going to pop next year that's usually the way it goes um, all right keep going down this is an overall you can see how the a to one is larger there uh, so all the bayberries have been planted the red cedars have been planted basically everything has been planted including the emergent area within what looks like um, inundation. That inundation, there's really a couple of inches. So we, we, we hit the hydrology, which was good. Uh, we opened, um, remember there was a, well, with the, um, with some people call them the noodles, the straw waddles. Uh, those were broken up. We took the netting away at Pollock Wonders to do that so we don't have uh, entanglement of any amphibians or snakes. We've opened some uh, areas through that little berm because, as you remember, we had to go down a little further uh, just to grab the hydrology, and those will be opened a little more so there's continuous flow back and forth from wetland A to this area. I keep going, Bruce, and see what else we got here. George, can I ask you a question, though? Absolutely. I think you said you had maybe about 90% of the plants planted. You're still holding back some of the plants, though, correct? Yeah, there was, uh, I guess, these the, uh, the people who were planting quit at three o'clock. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess there's a few more plants than you'd be planted tomorrow. And that's going to be finished tomorrow. Yeah, no, because I thought you said originally you were going to be holding some plants back. Oh, sure. Yeah. That's, so, that's what I'm asking. So what we've done, and if you, uh, Bruce, once you go to the third, um, the third uh, bunch of pictures... That will give us, okay, keep going down. We'll, we'll revisit this in a moment. Keep going down. So here's the plants. Um, so what we did is we, we split the plants up for what's going to go in the creation area. And actually what we've done with those area, those plants in creation area, we put it at the edge of the restoration area because it's, it's hydrated and also shaded. <clears throat> so then they'll be moved uh, to plants. So we've basically separated everything out uh, based on the, the plan that we originally had. And we only planted <clears throat> what was prescribed for the restoration area at this point. So that's 90% done. 
the planting and the restoration there, I should have said, with the rest of it happening tomorrow, uh, there were a few plants that our supplier couldn't give us. Basically, he told us that a couple of species would be at, ready at the end of June because they needed to grow a little larger. A couple of species would be ready in the beginning of July because, again, they needed to grow. So that's probably, I would say, no, no more than 10% of the of the plantings which is fine uh, we we can do that at that time um, at that time i should be back from from europe um so sigrun and god was going to take over uh on the planting supervision and uh, she's pretty good at that that's actually her her forte uh, so we're hoping that this coming week, the creation area will be done, and then we can go to planting either by the end of next week or the following week. <clears throat> now, the upland area, and there's some pictures here, Bruce, to, to show the upland area on the, um, that's the third batch that I'd send you. Oh, third, all right. Yeah. Uh, very, there we go. So we hydro seeded, here's the gentleman hydro seeding. We hydro seeded it, but actually that's a misnomer because <laughs> what we figured, that happen is that some of these seeds, for instance, for a little blue stem and the larger blue stem, they're kind of fuzzy. They clogged out the filter. And so the what they ended up doing is uh, we seeded by hand the entire area by spreader or by hand. Uh, after we mix the seed mix, we, we obviously have annual ryegrass in there, the, the warm season uh, grass mix and of course the a few amendments of seeds that we had uh, and then of course we did the fertilization we did the liming we also finished the uh, specific member the, the experimental plots that we put out there to see how things were responding uh, if we did nothing if we just york raked uh, and if we just topsoiled and seeded and not fertilized. So there's, there's several different amendments and that, that information was was given, I hope passed away, passed on to you folks. So that was done correctly. That, that was a little bit of a mind meld a little bit until we kind of explain things out a little bit. So everything has been seeded uh, within the upland area, fertilized, limed, except for the haul road. And that's gonna be the last thing that's gonna be uh, taken care of once we're we're done with everything else, um, including the haul road that goes into the creation area because we had to <clears throat> basically remove about a foot of, of soil because it was kind of sloppy in there and put probably a, a foot to two feet of, of compact material uh, so that the machines wouldn't bog down. Uh, most of that is gonna be removed. The topsoil is gonna be replaced and then we're gonna seed it down as, as the last thing we do as we, as we get out of that place. So I'm gonna say that by the time I come back from Greece, um, everything will be done, except maybe the haul road. And oh, the, uh, the little area that we had, uh, remember we had area B, that still has tadpoles in it and, and almost two feet of water. Uh, uh, and then we have that area that we avoided by going around with a haul road that had some, so that's, that's I call that area D. Uh, we did find a couple of tadpoles in there, and Ed did, I should say, uh, and there was a little bit of activity, but not much at all. That's the water, you know, was a little bit on the muddy side from the get-go. Um, area B is fine, and area C, which is on the far eastern end, Remember, there was a shallow area that uh, was uh, utilized by breeding by uh, specifically, no, it's, yeah, there you go. And that's the, the deep part that's five feet deep. Uh, so everyone is going to escape to that place once the, the water basically disappears in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so we had uh, amphibians there. And that's something that we will most likely have to come back to the commission and discuss once we're all done with everything so we have full clarification and understanding as to <clears throat> what's going to happen there if anything so that's kind of where we're at um, obviously we're going to seed um, the area that you see in the far far east which is where we leveled the piles down that you remember yeah. and we removed by yeah. 
by mouse Europe. problem. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So there was a lot of invasives there. So we, we kind of screened as much of the invasives out if we could, and that went to the pile. And then we leveled it off. And that's going to be seeded uh, probably with a more common, should we say, contractor's mix that has perennial ryegrass, annual ryegrass, fescues, and, and the like. And that's the plan for that one. So that's kind of what I have. So things have gone, I'm very pleased with how things have gone. And uh, the uh, Stanley's crew is, especially Joe, is, he's, he's pretty good. He, he has good understanding of what needs to happen. He's very communicative. He, he calls me. If he needs a, even a, what he thinks is a silly question, if I'm not there, uh, he'll call me and we'll communicate that. So there have not been any issues whatsoever. We had that rainstorm early on. Uh, we had a couple of um, um, blowouts, minor and very quite minor. Those were repaired. If they have not been seated, they will be seated. There was one of them on, I think there was on Shannon's list also. And then the, uh, we put another waddle at the top of the slope to protect um, the rest of the area. And that, that will remain there until we have full stabilization of, of the watershed, if you will. All right. Thanks, George. Um, You're welcome. I'll you know, go through the list again for commission members to see whether or not they have any questions, comments. So Rich, we'll start with you. Um, no questions. I think Emily appeared. Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been here, um, okay. but I have no questions. You said you do or you don't, I'm sorry. I do not, Bob. Okay. Dave? No questions. Robert? No question, just a comment uh, for George and Attorney Galski. It looks like the project is progressing nicely, so thanks for your continued cooperation. Yes, yeah, so. you're welcome. Thank you. Mark? I have one question. Um, I'm trying to remember back from a site visit. I noticed in one of the pictures about a roadway that is going by, I think, Wetlands B. I don't. I see it. There's a road beyond it. It was. Was that always there, or is that something put in temporarily? That was put in temporarily. So we had a conversation with Shannon. Uh, she wanted to push it beyond the area that got flooded, where you see that little, um, not that area, but here further closer to the sign, which says six sixteen twenty twenty one. That's the area that got flooded. That last year was not doing much. This year did a little better as far as amphibian production. And the plants have really gone pretty, pretty with a lot of more diversity of hydrophytes there. So we pushed that and put the temporary access road uh, as far away as possible. And then that's going to be restored uh, once, we're, once we're done. We'll pull it back, seed it, topsoil it, and seed it. We'll probably use the topsoil that we've, if we have extra, uh, which we probably will. Uh, because we're not going to topsoil as much in the sumps. Obviously, it doesn't make any sense uh, because those will be inundated for the most part. So that's going to be put over the, uh, you know, that area that that's the haul road and, and restored. We'll probably put a conservation seed mix down on it. Hmm. Okay, that's good to know because I see that as maybe restricting water flow. So that's good at eventually. Be removed. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you spell Eleanor? Well, it could be two ways. L E A E L E A N O R. Oh, wait. I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> Was that it, Mark? <laughs> yes, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Ned, before Jay gets off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Ned, any questions, comments? Say you're muted, Ned. You're muted, Ned. I'm you're muted, muted, yes. Uh, I'll just say it looks well, and it looks like it's going well, and uh, 
I'm pleased with the progress. Jay? No questions. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pleased with the way this is progressing too. It's it's probably going a little bit faster than I had anticipated, but it seems as though people are fairly happy with what's been going on. I mean, I'll ask Bruce, are, are there any issues? I mean, it sounds like everybody's been working together, cooperating and trying to get this resolved. Is that pretty much your <coughs> take on it? Yeah, everything, everything's been going well. Uh, the guys are, of course, trying to get this done as fast as possible because they have other projects they have to go to. So they are working very quick on this. And like I said, I'm, I think uh, I have a meeting next Wednesday with them. So hopefully we'll get a lot of that wrapped up and maybe they're done within the next week and a half, two weeks, you know? Okay, good. All right, thanks. Um, and again, yeah, I know that other people have said the same thing, but I want to you know, at least thank the folks involved with this project for their work and trying to get this thing resolved as well. So it's much appreciated. Welcome. Thank you. So I, I think that's probably it for tonight because there's no action we have to take on this other than we get to nope. see the progress every two weeks. So. So I guess we'll close this portion of the meeting unless anybody else has any questions or comments on it and go into planner's report if there um, is anything. We have no planner's report this evening. Thank you. All right. Um, can I get a motion to approve the minutes of June 2nd, 2021 from the wetlands? So approved, Mark. Is there a second? Second, Robert. This is just a general question. Any corrections, comments, concerns with what's there? Nope. 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 Hearing none. Those in favor, please by please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Abstaining. And it's getting better. It's only seven thirty-three, so we'll close wetlands and go to conservation. And we'll start that. Um, so still 733, we'll call this meeting to order. Um, other business land acquisition committee report. Was there something there? There was no there was no meeting last month. Okay, I will bring up something for other business. Um, part of the issue I had today being on the computer all day long and some training I've got to go back and take a closer look at it, but it looks as though there was a bill passed that is now going to require conservation and development plans to be updated every five years. I think that's in addition to um, the affordable housing plans that I think the town is working on and that's across the state. So I don't know if this is something that we're going to end up dealing with, but it may be something we need to take a look at just to see how this is going to impact us. So that may be a project that the conservation side of the group is going to have to take on a little more serious note. So I just thought I would throw that out, but I'll try to find out a little bit more about that. And I can work with Shannon and getting the information and getting it out to you guys so that everybody has an understanding of what we may have to do. Um, you have the public act number or the bill number I, by chance? I don't, but I'll, I'll, I can go back and get it. Um, I should be able to access the uh, testimony because the meetings are recorded. So I'll go back and, and try and, and find that. But I, I do not have a public act right now, um, but I'll try and double check on that for everybody. Can I also bring up some other business, Bob? Yeah. Okay. And I, you know, I guess this is a good time for this. I don't know if anyone is inclined to, to, to discuss this, but through uh, Shannon, Bruce, and Catherine, I had sent, ah, there it is right there. <laughs> the three scenarios that were discussed having to do with wetlands at the Kakiwick uh, 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 meeting last Saturday, which I got a tremendous amount of value. I don't know if anyone's inclined to to talk about this at all. I mean, I, I thought I thought it was great. I was able to participate and I'm actually starting to find, I don't think I was really on target with all of these three scenarios, but it's kind of scary that I'm starting to kind of think right. It's taken a few <laughs> years. 
<laughs> you know, and they they say you know they they say no matter how long you do something, you can always learn something. You know, um, but I did have them send this out to you, and I got value out of it. I don't know if anyone's interested in hearing anything about it or not. I took a quick look at it, but I haven't really had a chance to yeah. do anything with it. I've had a couple public hearings or two public hearings in the last week, so I've had to be prepared for those. So I haven't really had a chance to look at this, but it's something that we probably can. Um, the one concern I would have is the project coming up down by the river. I forget the name of it, um, but I think they're supposed to be coming in for the next meeting. That's what I think it's like 50 something houses along the Farmington River over by the Big Bird Bridge. So I just don't remember I mean, the, the name of the project. I mean, not to make this sound like a self-centered thing. I just was curious. My original reason for sending it to, to Shannon and at, at Al is just to see, you know, what kind of feedback, what kind of thoughts you guys all, you folks all had about it. And it was really interesting. I mean, basically, I mean, they, they talked about some regulations and there was interesting discussion and I did participate in the discussion. I may not have been right in everything I was thinking, but it was good. So I'll leave it at that unless anyone wants to bring anything up. I mean, if, if we, you know, if there's any value in discussing this in the future, that would be great. I'd also say that, Ed, uh, that there was another part of the meeting, just real quickly, Ed Pollack did a presentation about vernal pools. And I guess I should be embarrassed to say that I didn't really know a lot about it other than the discussions we've had, you know, in various matters that have come before us. But I learned I learned some things about that and, you know, whatever. And, and Ed did a really good presentation, which I'm not surprised at. Yeah, no, Ed's I, been doing stuff like that for a while, Jay. And um, I think for a while he actually had, there were people from the town that could meet him at some of the various vernal pools. I think one of the ones they studied, I know Guy used to go to them, uh, but was over by where you have um, the hotel and the apartments and that senior housing project over on Route 6. One of the vernal pools they studied was out there. So Ed's been doing this type of work for years and working with commission members and other interested parties. So yeah, he does a good job on this. Yeah, it was good. And like I say, you know, I'm I still, even though I've been on the commission two or three years now, I'm, st I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm it's really, a, I, I say this all the time, it's really an in-process thing, and it was really valuable to hear him talk about it, and there was a lot of, dis I made, I took about three pages of notes on his presentation, and uh, I got a lot of value out of the whole day. Good. So, no, yeah. I'm glad it was whatever. worthwhile, so. Yeah, it, it was definitely worthwhile, and I'm really glad that I did it. All right. I mean, I'll leave it at that. I just wanted to raise it, raise it up okay. and just give you a brief thing about uh, Attorney Brooks's presentation. She's a little difficult to follow, but she's, you know, very knowledgeable. So, you know. <laughs> well, Jan has been doing this for I know 30 something years, I think. So, yeah, she's pretty knowledgeable. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Jay. Um, I'm assuming there's nothing on planner's report. Again, nothing to update on planner's report. Thank you. Okay. Um, can I get a motion to approve the minutes of the June 2nd, 2021 Conservation Commission meeting? So approved, Mark. Is there a second? Second, Jay. Okay. I don't really think we talked about a whole lot the last time. So I'll just go directly. Uh, those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? And I don't want you to think that we get out this early all the time. <laughs> this, this is one of these pleasant evenings where we're able to take advantage of it. Yeah. Well, if, if we have this intense uh, matter coming before us, we might be here a little bit longer at, at some of the upcoming meetings, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, there, I mean, when they came in, they did the, a preliminary in front of us. I mean, the big issue on that site is going to be what constitutes wetlands by definition because I think a lot of that site is alluvial soil, which by definition is a wetland soil. So I think this, the impact may be very significant based on wetland soils. I'm just not sure how impactful it will be on actual wetland bodies, you know. So we'll, we'll see. 
Um, we'll have to wait to get the plans in and see what they've decided to do with them. So, but it should be an interesting project. Um, I don't know if it's going to be as controversial as the last one, um, but we'll see. So I think with Just, that, uh, can I get a motion to this band for the evening? Or do we so just want to call it a night? 